Good morning, Bulldogs, and welcome to our 2021 closing ceremony. I can't tell you how proud I am to be standing here for our closing ceremony. Uh, we've come so far in the last year, and we have accomplished so much. Um, we've been in business five days a week since day one, when most schools in New York State couldn't figure it out. And we did it because we pulled together as a Bulldog family, uh, realizing that everything was possible if we just thought outside the box. If we looked at each obstacle as an opportunity, and we focused on what we could control, which was our, our attitude and effort. No matter what stood in our way, we made it work. Uh, together, behind the effort of our teachers, our students, and our staff, uh, we excelled the Livonia way, in the classroom, on the field, on the court, and on the stage. Uh, today, during the ceremony, we'll announce our Spring Bulldog Pride Award winners. We'll honor students for in grades six through 12 for their effort and hard work. We'll honor students for being a person of character, uh, well, for demonstrating courage, uh, for showing compassion to others, and we'll honor students for making Livonia Middle High School a better place for all of us. Um, we'll also have some special performances, which you'll hear in a few minutes, from some of our top uh, vocalists and musicians. Uh, Livonia uh, has an award-winning musical program, and many of the students you will watch perform this morning uh, have received all county honors, all state honors, and a few have even been recognized nationally. Uh, so we'll get this rolling. I'd like to introduce Livonia Live. We'll kick things off by singing the national anthem. Stripes and bright stars to the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rock is Student Council President, uh, Abby Avery. Uh, Abby um, has been a tremendous leader in our building over the last four years, uh, and that was definitely clear this year, dealing with everything we were dealing with this, this school year, uh, with COVID and the restrictions, uh, like I talked about earlier, about thinking outside the box. Um, it's Abby's leadership that made days like this, ceremonies like this happen, um, and what we're going to be, be able to do today, spring day today, and spring day tomorrow for grades 6 through 12, uh, is a tribute to what Abby's been doing all year. So it's my honor to call up uh, the person who will be running the show today, uh, Abby Avery. Yep. In celebration of the hard work we have put in this year to do our best and to be our best selves, several departments are going to be presenting Bulldog Pride Awards this morning. Students will be honored by each department for striving to reach their potential by pursuing excellence achieving academic excellence in the classroom, demonstrating outstanding teamwork, or showing respect and responsibility as a Bulldog in our building. Students honored today will have their award certificate mailed home with a congratulatory letter. First, we would like to welcome the Science Department to give their awards. I'm Mr. Miller. Um, I'm here to represent uh, the Science Park today and uh, present some Bulldog Pride Awards. But before I do that, because I don't want to forget, Mr. Mallory, you're really bad at me. Uh, our department every year nominates a student for the Bosch and Lawn University of Rochester Science Scholarship. That individual is a junior, uh, heading into their senior year. An interest in uh, attending the University of Rochester as well as uh, an interest in the sciences. That nominee this year is Nathan Wilson. Right sure, even my honor's watching this. Yeah. 
This year, Mrs. Malibur uh, would like to honor Caitlin Kiefer for achieving academic success, James Pisano for achieving academic success, Mr. Gavin Wolston for achieving academic success, and Sean Spisano for achieving academic success. Mrs. First would like to honor Lindsay Johnson for pursuing excellence, and Nick Truhart for pursuing excellence. Mr. Cronmiller, Nadia Bajan for achieving academic success, and Shane Malib for, achieving, uh, for pursuing excellence, and Wyatt Shannon for showing respect and, and showing respect and responsibility. Mr. Sheldon would like to represent Brandon McDougall for achieving academic success, Dan Horan for pursuing excellence, and Kayla Salvatore for pursuing excellence. I myself would like to honor Neveline Garwood for pursuing excellence, and Peter Tonkery for showing respect and responsibility. Mrs. Artruz would like to honor Katie Martin for achieving academic success. Mr. Humphrey, Garrett Phillips, pursuing excellence. Anna Sinquino, for also pursuing excellence. Mr. Ripple, Matthew Perry, for pursuing excellence. And Chris Sticker, for working as a team. And last but not least, Mrs. Williamson, Nick Field, for working as a team. And Sierra Santiago for all four PAWS award categories. Thank you very much. Thank you, Science Department. Next up, we will be the members of the Art Department to present their award. The Art Department would like to recognize and honor the following students for their dedication and awesome effort this past semester. Our Bulldog Pride Award winners are, for pursuing excellence, Mrs. Metzler Awards freshman Julia Bonadonna, Mrs. Vance and Ms. Nagel Award eighth grader McKenna Collins. For showing respect and responsibility, Mrs. Metzler Awards freshman Ryan Metzner. Mrs. Vance and Ms. Nagel Award eighth grader Cameron Eric. For pursuing and achieving excellence with integrity, Mrs. O'Neill awards seniors Kelly Huber and Elena Palmieri. Ms. James awards junior Kylie Waters and sophomore Megan Bailey. The art department would also like to give a shout out to the seniors who chose to participate in this year's senior art exhibition, which was held last Sunday, June 6th. Participating seniors were Alexa Beach, Hannah Besley, Lana Bogue, Sierra Dunn, Kelly Huber, Tara Kelly, Sarah O'Neill, Elena Palmieri, Olivia Parker, Emily Sheeran, Ella Sexton, Malika Tantamecki, and Libby White. We wish all the art seniors and the entire class of 2021 all the best in your future endeavors. Keep art in your life. Thank you, art department. And thank you for another amazing art show. And now we have a performance from our jazz band. I'd like to welcome up Owen Hensley. The first song will be Blowtorch, which features Queen DeWater on bass, Brendan Myers on trumpet, William Jarsbeck on tenor saxophone, and Stephen Charleboy's on the trumpet.
Thank you, Jasmine. That was great. We would now like to welcome up the Health and PE Department to present their awards. Congratulations on a successful year, everybody. Uh, in the category of uh, PAUSE, all of them, pursuing excellence, achieving academic success, working as a team, showing respect and responsibility, Mr. Wood, honors, Tara Kelly, and, Jake and I, Jason Isaac. <coughs> and Mr. Gilman has chosen Ethan Bastel and Braden Roller for respect and responsibility. And I chose Molly Hitchcock for pursuing excellence and Madalena Minucci for showing respect and responsibility. Mr. Keel honors Lucas Stewart for pursuing excellence and Angela Tewksbury for pursuing excellence. Mr. Kress, Brian Travis showing respect, Colin Bagley pursuing excellence. Mr. Smith has chosen Emma Snyder for pursuing excellence and Aiden Kelly for showing respect and responsibility. And in the health department, Mr. Green chooses Satchel, Satchel Dombra for showing respect and responsibility, and Aaliyah Davis for pursuing excellence. Thank you. Thank you, Health and PE Department. We would now like to welcome up the English Department to present their award. Pursuing excellence, I am honoring Katie Dewater. She's out here somewhere. Hi, Katie. Katie Dewater, and I am also honoring for showing respect and responsibility Michael Bean, who is also out here somewhere. Good morning, Michael. Miss Countryman is recognizing Emma Prebonic and F. Ethan Matzik for all four, so the pause award for you two. Mrs. Maxwell is recognizing Natalie Scheider at, for respect and responsibility, and Kaylee Hasperger for pursuing excellence. Mr. Martin is presenting Jonathan Cry with the Showing Respect and Responsibility Award, and Kayla Swift for pursuing academic excellence and achieving academic success. Ms. Norman would like to recognize Maya Vesley today for pursuing excellence and achieving academic success, as well as Keegan Dennis for pursuing excellence and working well as a team. Mrs. Neitz in eighth grade is honoring Hunter Otis and Alyssa Schellenbarger for all four aspects of the PAW. Mrs. Carter in seventh grade is honoring Brandon Chance for showing respect and responsibility as well as working well as a team. And Gabe Arnold, you are getting all four parts of the PAW. Congratulations. Mr. O'Keefe is recognizing John Licata for sixth grade for pursuing excellence and achieving academic success. Mr. Schoner, also in sixth grade, is honoring Evan Strauss. He is pursuing excellence and achieving academic success. Guest starring in the English department, we have Mrs. Donahue, who is honoring Elliot Gavin for respect and responsibility. And I think Elliot's in here somewhere. Congratulations, Ellie. I'm sorry, Elliot. Mrs. Smith is honoring Haley Simser for showing respect and responsibility, as well as Daryl Simser for showing respect and responsibility. And finally, Ms. Leathersitch is giving a shout out to Mary Newton for showing respect and responsibility. Thanks. Thank you, English Department. Livonia Live, would you please make your way to the floor now for your performance?
Charlotte Livingston County Youth Teen Recognition Award. And uh, the Livingston County gets together every year and does a lovely presentation uh, for this. Let me just read it here. Livingston County uh, brought to you by uh, the Livingston County Youth Board and Board of Supervisors. These awards are earned by high school teens as young as 15 who are committed to community improvement. They demonstrate leadership or are a role model to others because they have overcome personal challenges. These are youth in our community who sub suddenly go about making the world around them a little more special by their actions and attitudes. The winners from Livonia School District are Maddox Olson, Elizabeth Fitzgerald, Abby Graham, Alyssa Healy, Sarah Niddle, and Emma Probanich. And all of them received a lovely award at, a, at the uh, Avon Drive-In a few weeks ago. So let's congratulate all of those folks. Uh, next up is the Karen Bennett uh, Teacher of the Year Award. And what's really neat and special about this award is it's um, voted on and nominated by fellow teachers. Uh, just finding someone who has helped us out throughout the year. Uh, Karen was a principal here for many years and she was all about supporting teachers. And so we've, we've done this award in her honor. Past recipients have been Carolyn Torrey, Peggy Hooker, and Karen Schuster. And I'm very, very happy to announce that this year's winner is Mrs. Whitney Carter. Mrs. Carter is an exemplary teacher. <laughs> Mrs. Carter is an exemplary teacher who enjoys teaching, makes a difference, finds inspiration, and embraces change. She's continually working to make connections with our students by listening, asking questions, and by letting them in. Whitney pushes kids to be their best, not only in the classroom, but in life. She is showing them what it means and what it takes to be a positive contributing member to our community. Nominated by Kelly Olson. Mrs. R. Truce also says Whitney's door is always open when I have a question or need help or if I just need to vent. Her creativity and enthusiasm for ELA is top notch. She has generously shared her tips and techniques with the LCS staff through a dedicated Google Classroom, Livonia MHS PD. Her commitment to her students is evident as she works with them during lunch and extends time after school for them. And on a personal note, I don't think I could have survived a year digitally without Mrs. Carter's help. Uh, currently, at this time, she is getting su surprised in her classroom with a lovely bouquet, and uh, hopefully her class is just cheering her on. So thank you, Mrs. Carter, for all you do. Uh, finally, is Stephen out here? There he is. Stephen and Abby, if I could have them come to the podium very quickly. Front and center. Um, so this, it's, it's hard to believe uh, that these two have been um, with us here for four years doing what they're doing and we've gone for, to Chicago and Minnesota and all ends of the earth and they're not afraid to make a change in a positive direction. Uh, Stephen alone created with Jenna Fazio last couple of years ago, the Survivor Week, um, and has just been in, instrumental in doing a lot of great things this year. Uh, Abby, she's our right-hand girl, and uh, to watch her the last four years has been a real privilege and pleasure for me. Uh, Stephen already got his surprise here, but uh, Abby, this is for you. It is a college sweatshirt. Even though you are not going to wear the blue and orange any longer, uh, you will you will remember that you're always a bulldog here at Livonia. So, and Stephen got one the other day too. So let's give these two a round of applause for everything they've done this week. Thank you. Thank you. And now another performance from Jazz Ensemble. Owen, would you like to introduce? So our next song is Temper, which features Alien Girl Effect on the Tender Sacks. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Lawless. Yeah, what is it? 
Do you know September is the class of 2021 senior song? Yeah, this year's seniors. Yeah. Yeah. Really? And now our music department will present their awards. Hi, Ben. <laughs> um, thank you, Jazz Band. We would now like to welcome up the Social Studies Department to present their awards. Mr. Gempner, that's me, is nominating Marissa Salvatore for achieving academic success and Zoe Vega Marslin for pursuing excellence. Mr. Ward has nominated Sam Hardy for pursuing excellence and Josh Schertz for pursuing excellence. Mr. Snyder has nominated Ryan Kelly for pursuing excellence and Hannah Besley for achieving academic success. Mr. Van Epps nominated Madison King for pursuing excellence and Sarah Johnson for achieving academic success and showing respect and responsibility. 
Mr. Kishorek nominated Brady Bishop for pursuing excellence and Jacob Marsh for showing respect and responsibility. Mrs. Mullenkamp, maybe Mr. Patterson, who did it, nominated Natalie Rich for showing respect and responsibility and A.J. Perry for pursuing excellence. Mr. Cripps nominated Natalie Goss for all four categories and Sydney Kologi for all four categories as well. Mrs. Shapanik nominated Catherine McLaughlin for all four categories and Henry Walters, that's my neighbor, for pursuing excellence. Mrs. O'Keefe nominated Josh Botner for academic success. And nominated Rob responsibility for achieving academic success. We have a few department awards for the social science department. Each year, the University of Rochester seeks nominations for the Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award. This award recognizes a junior who has shown commitment to exploring, understanding, and addressing difficult social issues, leadership and dedication to community action, and strong grades and rigorous courses taken in the humanities and social sciences. This year's award winner is Sarah Perdue. We would also like to recognize. We would also like to recognize the following students who scored either a four or a five on the AP European History exam in May of 2020. These students will have their names added to the Academic All Star Board which is outside the auditorium at the end of the math hallway. Uh, Nadia Bayan scored a five. Angela Tewsbury scored a five. Katie DeWater, Elliot Gavin, Sarah Perdue, Karen Renner, Kat Weldy, and Nathan Wilson. Nathan Wilson. 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 We'd also like to recognize the following students for scoring a four or a five on the AP U.S. History exam in May of 2020. These students will have their names added to the Academic All-Star Bulletin Board. The fours were earned by Stephen Charlevoix, Gabe Gammon, Molly Gifford, Ethan Matzik, Kennedy Neckers, and Aiden Nichols. And the following students earned a five, Ryan Cole, Ethan DeMartinus, Adam Nyhart, Olivia Parker, Gianna Ricanio, Jessica Romanowski, Ella Sexton, Christian Tewsbury, and Emma Wagner. And even though they're not here to be recognized in the building, uh, students took the AP Government and Politics exam in May of 2020 and did outstanding. And so we are going to honor those people who are no longer with us in this building. Uh, they are Anna Evans, Mackenzie Garger, Caitlin Marzik, Donovan Miller, John Norman, Ali Owen, Jasmine Santana, Austin Hawker, Eli Hopkins, Amelia Kwok, Joey Mentry, Kara Montalione, Brian Moscato, Micah Ross, Nina Raleigh, Patrick Spazano, Gina Tett, and Cody Van Nostrand. Round of applause for them. Thank you. Thank you, Social Science Department. We would now like to welcome up the Math Department to present their awards. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mrs. Katracha, and Mrs. Robinson couldn't be here today, so she asked me to read the names of the award recipients from the Middle High School Math Department. Um, okay. So, Mrs. Robinson nominated Amelia Henderson Schultz for achieving academic success, and Eddie Wright for working as a team. 
Mrs. Chapelo nominated Chris Faribel for Pursuing Excellence and Esther Slocum for Achieving Academic Success. Mr. Cicero nominated Sarah Niddle for all four categories and Emma Simmons uh, also for all four categories. Uh, my, I, Mrs. Katracha, me, I nominated Madeline Room for Pursuing Excellence and Edward Bates for Working as a Team. Mrs. Kruger nominated Liam Ellis for Pursuing Excellence and Kagan West for Working as a Team. Mrs. Weber nominated Marcy Middleton and Zachary Yaman, uh, both were for Pursuing Excellence. Mr. Schuer nominated Dylan Dussault for Pursuing Excellence and Eliza Parker for all four categories. Mrs. Bruce nominated Gabrielle Perry for all four uh, categories, as well as Trenton uh, Gavlik for all four categories as well. Mrs. Pierce nominated Olivia Smith for Pursuing Excellence and Megan Lasher for Pursuing Respect and Responsibility. Mrs. D'Imperio nominated Sabrina Adamson for Showing Respect and Responsibility and Lily Garrity for Pursuing Excellence. Mrs. Falkenberry nominated Damian Harder for Showing Respect and Responsibility and Dylan Lopez for Achieving Academic Success. Mrs. Clark nominated Scott Bianchi uh, for Achieving Academic Success and Michael um, Marusiak for Achieving Academic Success and Mrs. Mann nominated Christina Bohr for Achieving Academic Success. So that is the full bag award winners for the math department. Congratulations. Okay, I have two more categories to, uh, to talk about, or two more awards. Um, we would like to also recognize our math petitions who achieved a qualifying score on the AP math exam last year. Um, I'm only going to nominate, or only going to recognize my juniors, well, last year's juniors, this year's seniors. So uh, for AP stats, that was Christian Tewsbury. <laughs> it was Ryan. Cole and Christian Tewksbury. Both of you worked really hard in your determination to off. And they loved it so much, they're taking the exam again. Yeah, good job. Okay, uh, and then lastly, uh, math team this year did not look like it normally does. I was here, but we still were able to participate. So we would like to recognize the following students. Um, we did take second place overall which is okay, next year we'll take first again. So, um, Ryan Cole, Christian Tewksbury, Ethan Nassik, Angela Tewksbury, Adam Nyhart, Nate Wolston, Shaylin Louster, Caitlin DeWater, Logan Longby, Adam Valbrand, Elliot Gavin, Sophia Xian, Aiden Nichols, Gavin Wolston, Levi Wolston, Gianna Ricano, and Jessica Romanowski. Thanks guys. <laughs> And um, just one other quick thing, one of our math leads, Christian Shakespeare, also uh, was the top scoring senior and uh, actually the top scorer of all the participants in the region. So congratulations to Christian and all of you. Congratulations. And that's it for the math department. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, math department. Please welcome Lamonia Live for another special performance. Um, I'm Christian Dukesbury. Hello. Uh, today, I want to present 
a song called When the Earth Stands Still. Uh, this is a, a, a TTBB arrangement, tenor tenor bass bass arrangement that we found online. And it's, it's actually a song that we sang, I think, our freshman year in the SATV version, the chorus. And at, at the time, I really didn't like the song, if I'm being honest. But <laughs> later, after we sang the song, I found a deaf uh, arrangement that we're doing today um, on YouTube with my recommendations. And it was, it was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Um, a lot of parts were excluded from the SATV version, because it's a choral version made slightly easier. And um, yeah, we pulled together this chorus in the past like week or so. I think we're going to give it our best shot and make, try to make it sound good. Um, wish us luck. Thank you. Evan, Aiden, Christian, and Stephen for that special musical performance. We would now like to welcome up the counseling department to present their awards.
Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Delano for the counseling department. Under the category of showing respect and responsibility, Mrs. Olson recognizes Elsie LeClaire and Cameron Commanda. Mrs. Fitzsimmons recognizes Chloe Cress. I recognize Brooklyn Truisi and Leah Warner. Mr. Carter recognizes Brandon Shantz and Murphy Hines. And Mrs. Ott recognizes Cameron White. Under the category of achieving academic success, Mrs. Fitzsimmons recognizes Emma Hyde. We also have three scholarships to acknowledge today. For the Rensselaer Medal Award, a scholarship that goes to students who choose to enroll at RPI and excel at math and science, the recipient is Nathan Wolfson. For the Clarkson University Achievement Award, for students who enroll at Clarkson University and demonstrate academic achievement, that award goes to Sabrina Adamson. The Clarkson University Leadership Award, for students who choose to enroll at Clarkson University and show strong leadership abilities, that award goes to Angela Tewksbury, who I believe was just here, but maybe just left. All right, um, that's it. Congratulations to all of our listeners. Thank you, Counseling Department. We would now like to welcome up the Lope Department to present their awards. Good morning. The World Language Department, along with the English Language Learner Department, would like to recognize the following students for the Bulldog Pride Award. I myself am nominating or have nominated Madison Beach for the PAWS Award um, and Emma Olszewski for Pursuing Excellence. Ms. Hans Berger would like to recognize Isabel Perry for pursuing excellence, achieving academic success, and Thomas Christian for the PAWS Award. Mrs. DeCorey would like to recognize Kaylin Bastion for showing respect and responsibility, along with Mia Martusio for all four PAWS. Mrs. Delheim would like to recognize Jackson. Shuttlebauer uh, for showing respect, and Lily Rowe for pursuing excellence. Ms. Sheffield would like to recognize Lucy Sexton for um, PAUSE, for pursuing excellence, achieving academic success, working as a team, and showing respect and responsibility, as well as Traven Ellison for pursuing excellence. And Dr. Gurlius would like to uh, recognize Alexia Ocello for achieving ac academic success, as well as Cheyenne Austin for showing respect and responsibility. I'd also like to recognize and give a shout out to the seniors that have continued and completed their um, second language learning here at uh, LCS. It is quite a feat to be able to take and complete all six years of language learning, starting in seventh grade and continuing through senior year. As your language teachers, we commend you for your dedication and your willingness to learn from us. We are proud of you and best of luck as you continue in your life journey. A quote from Frank Smith, one language sets you in a corridor for life. Two languages open every door along the way. Seniors who have completed six years of Spanish are as follows. Hannah Beasley, Brady Bishop, Ella Countryman, Ethan DeMartin, Rain Eversold, Julie, Jillian Gantner, Molly Gifford, Olivia Kravitz, Erin Kress, Ewan Maxwell, Kennedy Neckers, Olivia Parker, and Emma Wagner. And the three students who have completed six years of study for French are as follows, Adam Delgran, Sean French, and Faith Ray. Congratulations. Thank you, Lope Department. Please welcome up Livonia Live. What's up, Bulldogs? We've got something real special for you today. Something I think you guys are really gonna like. 
the gentlemen of Livonia Live present the Weller Men. Was the ship that put to sea? The name of the ship was the Billy of Tea. The wind blew up her bow, dip down, oh, blow my bully boys, blow. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the talking is done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the talking is done, we'll take our leave and go. She had not been two weeks from shore when down on the ship of Blue Whale Port, the captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. Soon may the weathermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tugging is done, we'll take our leave and go. Who knows who has in the water? The whale still gave up and got her. All hands on the line, our wind that fought her when she died down below. For forty days, or even more, the line went slack and tight once more. Our boats were lost, there were only four, but still that whale did go. Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tugging is done, we'll take our leave and go. For as I've heard of ice still on, the line's not caught and the whale's not gone. The weatherman makes his regular call to return his captain crew and go. Soon may the weathermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Soon may the weathermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. We'll take our leave and go. We'll take our leave and take our leave and go. Thank you, gentlemen. And now our music department will present their awards. Good morning. The music department, uh, we'll start with Mrs. Whittle, would like to recognize Jack Tebow for excellence, pursuing excellence, and Gabe Gannon for all the pause categories. Mr. Lawton would like to recognize Aaron Kahn for respect and responsibility, and Rian DeWitt for pursuing excellence. I would like to recognize Gavin Seeley for pursuing excellence, and Caleb Smith for achieving academic success. Mr. Crabb would like to recognize the two sixth graders, Hannah White for pursuing excellence, and Rowan Trubia for respect and responsibility. Oh, and as a reminder, all the sixth grade band students must stay in seminar, otherwise you won't get to eat lunch. Congratulations to all of our award winners this morning. Your attitude and effort has made Livonia a better place for all of us. Thank you to all of you who participated in our closing ceremony this morning. Before we close out, we'll have one more special performance from the Jazz. Uh, for our next song, it's going to be Make Me Smile. Uh, this is featuring the amazing Julian Gersdijk on the tenor saxophone and the also amazing Brendan Myers on the trumpet.
Close things out, we'll have one more performance from the Holy Line.
Schedule change. We're a little bit ahead of schedule, but it's not a big deal. In a few minutes, we ramp this up by the singing of the alma mater. Uh, all students, grades six through ten, will go to their seminar location. Uh, all juniors and seniors will go to the cafeteria food truck area, which is going to be back behind the cafeteria. Um, the food truck should be ready shortly. And then once the juniors and seniors have gone through the food trucks, we'll probably be announcing a ninth and tenth graders right about 10:30. This is the announcements to go to the food truck area and start your spring day. Uh, so 9th and 10th graders, you will go to the seminar in a few minutes along with uh, 6th and 8th graders, and you'll stay there. Once the 9th and 10th graders have gone through the food trucks after 10.30, uh, then we'll uh, uh, announce 6th and 8th graders to go through the lunch also. Um, I want to congratulate all the students we honored today and thank all the students who performed here. Um, you know, in a day and age when we hear so often about the poor choices people make in the world, I'm reminded almost every day that of all the amazing students and teachers and staff we had here in Livonia. It's a, definitely a special place to call home. Um, I want to thank Mrs. D for, and her student leaders for putting together Spring Day. Uh, they've been working really hard to make this day possible. Um, when we talked about this a month ago, we kind of laughed um, because at that time it would have been pretty much impossible to run this today. Uh, but a lot of change has changed in the last month. And because of their hard work, their determination, and their way of thinking outside the box, it's going to work. Um, 
and we're going to have our 6 8 spring day tomorrow. Uh, so, all students in grades 6 and 12 are going to be able to enjoy uh, this Livonia tradition. Uh, spring day is another tradition that makes Livonia unique. Uh, a tradition planned by students, run by students. Uh, we trust our students not only make this day happen, uh, but to enjoy this amazing opportunity by making the right choices. Uh, Mrs. D shared with you a map and a list of activities. You should have got that in your, your email. And uh, just to kind of give you a, a brief summary, uh, all the activities happen around the perimeter of the building. Uh, we have all of the inflatables and uh, those things are right behind the gym right here. You have the Gaga pet, you have tennis. Um, we have things going on in the front roof like uh, RC soccer. Uh, you have soccer going on in the uh, turf field and then kickball I think next to that. I uh, got the food trucks behind the cafeteria. You have the mud slide up on the hill. Uh, we'll have a similar format tomorrow for six through eight. Uh, so right around the perimeter of the front half of the building here is kind of where things are going on. Uh, there's also a lot of activities going on inside the building. Uh, the one change to the schedule is the movie. It's happening in room 110. Uh, so if you're going to see the movie, if you don't know what movie is being planned, but uh, it's going to happen in room 110. So look at your schedule. That's the only change that's on there. Like I said, everyone got that sent to their email. Uh, I hope you take advantage of this amazing opportunity. Not many schools are putting something like this together. Uh, your student leaders have worked hard to find activities for everyone. So there should be something for everyone to do. We have karaoke, we have sidewalk chalk, a lot of arts and crafts. Um, for some reason, you need to sign out early. Uh, you must sign out through, with parent permission through the main office. Uh, in a few minutes, we'll be releasing uh, students to lunch. And I hope you enjoy your spring days, whether they're today or tomorrow. And have fun, be safe, and make the right choices, Bulldogs. And we're going to now close it out. And we close out the year the same way we begin the year every year, uh, by the singing of the alma mater. So what do you like? Students in grades six through ten, you'll be released to your seminar location. Um, all students and juniors and seniors, you're released to the food truck area back behind the cafeteria. Have a great day, Bulldogs. Thank you.